about Africa, this whole thing, it was creating division as it is already, mm. you know, because, yeah. you know, the other gr- but, side of, of the... Coin but we have, we've not really, we have not really, we have not really escaped that situation because uh, I know we, we hate to do hypothesis like and think think ahead. Let's assume Usman beats Chimaev, right? Let's assume Usman goes and beats Strickland because he's the number one contender. We've got another potential of the same. We go back to where we were before. Jokos versus Usman in Africa. I don't know. I think that that could possi- probably still be a possibility. You, but um, oh, in your head, you think Chimaev <laughs> loses to Usman? Well, we didn't talk about that, did we? <laughs> the other guys must answer that. I'm not gonna answer. That. <laughs> okay, guys. Um. I have. We, I mean, this is group That's chat that has a that that has a few um like uh, MMA channels in there. And when this news broke, all of them were like, "Ah, oh, Usman bad news. Usman too old. Comes out too much for him." Everybody has written off Usman, right? And I I was like, okay, let me make a case for Usman. What case do I have to make for Usman? Um, that's why I wanted to talk to you about his size, because what I thought about was. Is he going to be ragdolled? Because we know he's a good wrestler. A welterweight cannot ragdoll him. But would he be ragdolled by Chimaev? And Chimaev used to make welterweight before too. So I think he wouldn't be ragdolled. Uh, I think Chimaev only has the first round to win that fight. If he doesn't win the fight in the first round, Usman is going to take it to the distance. That's why I think because we've seen Chimaev's gas tank. He slows down very well. He slows down very much after the first round. So I think Usman takes this by decision. This is me being very positive. <laughs> but Ola, Ola, you are smiling. You are smiling. What do you think? <laughs> um, I, actually, um, I'm going along your 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 train of thoughts because I had different opinions about Chimaev until I saw him fight Gilbert Burns, and when I saw him fight Gilbert Burns, I thought, oh, okay. Maybe Chimaev is not as untouchable as I thought, shall I say? And I thought I thought Gil- Gilbert gave him one hell of a fight. Uh, shout out to to Gilbert Burns, and yeah, U- Usman does have a, a big big challenge in front of him um, when when it comes to Chimaev. Chimaev is a man mountain, um, and 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 the way he. He applies his game very, very intimidating. He get things done very, very quickly, and that's why, to your point, you said you know he only has the first round really uh, to to try and you know get get Usman out of there. The one thing with the size differential or people thinking he's going to ragdoll Usman, I particularly don't see that. And the reason I said that is the the sort of people that Usman you know used to train with people like Rumble Johnson. Um, even when you look at Usman's little brother, I mean, the, the guy is a heavyweight. Mohammed is a big, big guy, and I'm sure they spar a lot. So the power differential, I don't think he's going to face face Usman too much. And um, the fact that he's being written off, I think it's probably better for Usman uh, going into that fight with people writing him off. And one of the other things that I think favors Usman in terms of him winning this match and getting to see Strickland is the fact that he because you mentioned he's unranked in the 185 division but because he's a former champion in the waterway division that carries weight so when the former champion comes into a new division usually more often than not they get a quicker path to 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 a title shot so i think that's the situation uh here for for usman and if he pulls it off um who knows it could be the next one seeing uh, uh sean strickland whilst it's not fair for for Dricos, uh like Temba just alluded to earlier on UFC is a business they do what you know what brings the eyeballs to the to the fight and what put mm. it so that, that's okay that's, let, let, that's what they care about let's take your pre- let's take your prediction Ola how do you see how do you see the fight going because um, we have we've understand your train of thought now tell us for me Usman <laughs> Usman wins Usman Usman wins by decision as well I, I don't think he finishes him I think he wins by decision <laughs> Or should I go to Toby for his the prediction, or should I come to you, Temba? Toby. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
I don't, I don't think there's anybody that can rag Dol Usman in a wrestling match. It's not gonna happen. Um, not in that middleweight division. I, I think it depends on which which Usman we get, right? If we get the Usman who fought Leon the second time, he probably loses to Chimaev easily. If we get Usman at his peak, you know, when he was still Usman, then Chimaev is in for more than he, he bargained for. But um, so I, I'm not entirely sure where Usman is. But seeing as this is a short notice fight, I mean, he's got how many how many weeks to prepare for this fight? That that's the only place where I'm concerned. And as you said, Chimaev pushes the pace very very early in fights. So. That being said, I'm taking everything into consideration. I still think Usman will find a way to come out on top. Sorry for being too optimistic, but yeah, I think Usman will win. Emba, do you dare to be different? <laughs> look, um, coming back to Ola, um, look, one thing I can tell you this Shimaev is not that big either. Mm. Shimaev is not that big. I've met that guy too. Wow. We were both cutting weight last two, two years back in 2021 in Abu Dhabi. Okay. I was cutting weight on the treadmill. He was taking his weight, and I looked at him. I said, "Him up, obviously, you know." Mm. Um, there's guys in the same division. He says, "Yeah, love. he's not that big. He's not that much of a big guy." Uh, but Usman is a muscular guy, and he's a strong guy. And I don't think he can get wrecked out like uh, that. Jin Liang was done, but there's a possibility that can happen too. Mm. <laughs> Having that said, because just based on the readiness of who is ready except if Usman was getting prepared silently um or yeah but also like one thing i can tell you though one thing i'll tell you most of the time when you see a fight getting announced it's not that day or that it gets announced or the day before normally it's like you know i know this from information when the fight gets announced it's not normally the day so that means that this fight Usman, he didn't take this fight on 10 days' notice. It's not 10 days' notice. 10 days' notice for the announcement, I would think. Um, I would say the fight was known when 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 Costa came on on the With area. the elbow Awane, injury thing. When mm. he came on the area, I want to think, he was trying to fight so that the fight can get, can stay. He wanted to stay on the mm. fight. But, um, and also, I, I knew about this Costa thing a while back, but I kind of like brushed it off when one of the team has told me that uh, Costa has got a problem. <coughs> Sorry. I got a problem with the elbow. Like, this is like when I just arrived here, like four weeks, five weeks ago. Um, so that means that, you know, probably Usman had known and had the news already and was just, you know, buying his time also and getting ready silently. You know, um, you know, you know, I kind of think you are well, you guys have, uh, you fighters have like a niche community, right? Most especially if you are in big gyms that has got, if it's the Brazilian community, they would have, they would know a lot of things. Because Cheo Sonnen, in his many videos a couple of weeks ago, hinted that this fight will not happen. But he didn't say anything. So I think you might be onto something, Temba. This is something that Usman probably had known a long time ago. And to be honest... It's more, it's more dramatic for them no, to be no, like. No, no, no. I can guarantee, I can guarantee you this. This fight, this fight, this fight. Uh, the guy that is gonna come in there with a surprise. The guy that is taking the fight on short notice is uh, Chimaev. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's one one thing I can I can kind of say. Like the guy that is taking this fight on short notice is probably Chimaev. Um, but like. I don't think Usman knew the fight will come to fruition, but he probably threw his hand uh, his hands out there already a long time ago about this fight. Because you remember Charles Lennon came out and said, um, when he there's a pod, there's a thing that is a podcast that he said who, who should be the backup fighter for this, and that was like four weeks ago. Sure. And yeah, he said, he said Usman. Usman should be a backup fighter for the fight in Abu Dhabi because one of them is gonna blink. And um, when one yeah. blinks Usman yeah, he did say head. one of them will blink, but we don't know which one who because he thinks we are fools. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, you know, also, Sonia knows a so, lot of things, and people think that he's yeah. being stupid or being naive when he says things, but he knows mm -hmm. more than I think Sonia is like the go to guy when they 
they want to announce something, he gets it first. Because Sony is, is in very good hands with it, good good books with the company. And yeah, because you can tell because any fighter that goes against the UFC, you could hear that show when he makes his videos, he's against them because he slaughtered Francis Ngannou the whole time. Still today, he is slaughtering Francis Ngannou for for standing up and not co- extending his contract with the UFC. So yes, I do agree. Well, let's let's cut. Let's let let the show go on. Okay. Um. Yesterday, unfortunately for African fighters, zero and two in the Sadiq versus Barboza card. All right, let's start with the South African. There's also someone in our live chat that already mentioned this. Uh, he said Simon was robbed. He fought a weight misser. All right, so a lot of South Africans will obviously not be happy with this, but um, C-Rod, Christopher 